Hello and welcome to How to Wrap a Mod. Alright, my second one today. The M65 again, this time printed. And this is still the one that Jane at JD Vaping lent me. And it's still got juice coming out of the um, fire button and around by the screen. I've cleaned it and cleaned it and it still keeps coming out. But if you watch the vinyl one, uh, you'll you'll see on that one. All right, printed. Here we go. Uh, take your main section, and as with the M80s, you need to just overlap slightly, about a mil or so. And so that that is just just next to the button doesn't matter if it's slightly over the button but only slightly just by the side of it is fine just touching it All right smooth it down to get it to stick All right now pull it because you want to see if it's level at the bottom it looks like it is. Run your finger or thumb up so that you don't get any air bubbles. There we go. Smooth that down to hold it in place. Right. With the back, you want to smooth it around that radius. Firm pressure, just smooth it around, lift it up a little bit once it is, and using your nail, just push it down into the recess using your nail. Then, with firm pressure, push it down onto the spines, lift it again slightly, and with your nail push it down into that recess and um, smooth it around that radius and onto the last side and I have to wipe my hands again there's just juice coming out of this thing it just feels good. Right. Okay. Smooth it down onto your front radiuses by your buttons. And if you can see, just overhanging slightly. About a mil either side overhanging. Alright. Now you are going to need some heat on this because the vinyl's thicker. Right. Hopefully you can hear me. Right. Because the vinyl's thicker than normal vinyl, it's going to need some heat to get it down into them recesses and get it to stick. So just a little bit of heat in with your nail. Push it down. Bit of heat again. You don't want to get it too hot, you don't want to melt it, but you want it pliable. So just a, a bit of heat. Hair dryer or a heater like I use. I've got it on the low setting of this heater because it is a room heater. An air dryer you might need a little bit hotter, but that's something you'll have to try out. Alright. Got it down into them looking good bit more heat I've knocked the heat off and just tease it down there with your nail and it goes down into the recess and just sits slightly onto the bottom of that recess so it ends up just flat at the bottom 
and that's what we want because the button section is going to sit on top of that and that is what stops it from lifting it's a problem that people are having with other people's wraps is they finish there sorry there so it ends up with a catching point there 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 and there and the first batch of wraps that I did the vinyl ones um, they finished there and I'm going to redo the vinyl ones for this so that they finish inside here and not there if you have had one that does finishes there you know sorry you know it's the way it is that that's the first batch and it's the same as everyone else's but my new ones when I get round to it will finish like this so it finishes just underneath right here we go the button section if you look directly down just the same as with the vinyl, normal vinyl ones and the M80 can't even see the bloody hole there we go right, look down so that you can see a reset hole through the cutout for the reset hole line it up when it's lined up give it some pressure to hold it now this top part you can line up with your fire button you have to remember that these buttons do move slightly so right once you're lined up and you're happy put some pressure on it these buttons are recessed back more than the um, m80 so you can actually press these and get around them pretty well but still use your nail right along that edge you actually want to push this vinyl onto the vinyl that's underneath it and push all the vinyl down into the recess there we go and just have a look where that was just in case with the back if you add some heat onto that like we did with the front using your nail again just push it down into that recess and there we have it right the top same as before little gap at the back that ain't helping there with that reflective surface right little gap at the back not easy this be not for me anyway start looking at it and start to go cross-eyed right, a little bit of a gap central look along one edge to see if it's level that looks pretty level to me yeah, that's good enough. Right, the bottom. Line up with a charge port just central in the cutout. See if it's level. A little bit off, but it's the bottom, so I don't care. Right, and there we have it. A nice 
twenty pound wrap. A twenty pound note anyway. Alright. There. Let's see if I can get you a look inside there. The top. The bottom. Let's see if I can give you a good look at this. Yeah. With the buttons, the more you work at it, the better it'll be. Yeah, just with your nail, just working it in. And even though there is juice leaking out of this from places, it seems to have stuck pretty well. And you shouldn't get any catching on any of these. Yeah. So, hopefully, there you go. Thank you.